In an essay on man, Ernst Kasserer calls a great artist a discoverer of forms. He celebrates Leonardo da Vinci's concept of sapere videre, knowing how to see. If Leonardo da Vinci is right when he says the average person looks without seeing, listens without hearing, touches without feeling, eats without tasting, moves without physical awareness, inhales without awareness of odor or fragrance, and talks without thinking, then it takes an artist who is a genius by definition, fully aware of their surroundings, and in tune the spirit of a place, to know how to see. What he gives us, Cassirer writes about the artist, is the individual and momentary physiognomy of the landscape. He wishes to express the atmosphere of things, the play of light and shadow. Education is an atmosphere, and in Cassirer's mind, describing this atmosphere is the mission of the artist. Henry David Thoreau offers a pithy and prescient token of wisdom that might resonate with followers of Cassirer. It's not what you look at, but what you see. This is the reason I echo Virginia Woolf when I petition to God, open in me a thousand eyes of curiosity. Joseph Conrad says, the artist appeals to the part of our being, which is a gift and not an acquisition, and therefore more permanently enduring. Lewis Hyde reminds us that the spirit of an artist's gifts can wake our own. That spirit is a willingness to wonder because we know how to see. Knowing how to see is a matter of being open to the phenomena that surround us and willing to make connections. Neuroscience teaches our brains are yearning to make connections and encode them in our neural networks. Cassirer is interested in the meaning made through those connections. The imagination of the artist does not arbitrarily invent the form of things. It shows us these forms in their true shape, making them visible and recognizable. Hazard Adams put it simply, for Cassirer, art is not imitation, but a discovery. This is precisely what Cassirer offers with the metaphor he uses to constitute reality. You see, reality is made up of different symbolic structures like myth, language, art, poetry, science, architecture. Following Thoreau, who follows Leonardo da Vinci, we are reminded that reality is not made up of the material of existence, but is constituted by the practice of meaning-making. This is what Maurice Merleau-Ponty describes as the phenomenology of perception. Seeing is a practice that requires the individually constituted material of existence to come together with the viewer in an effort to make meaning. Cassirer explains that although each organ has its individual assignment, they function together to construct a spiritual reality. We apprehend those spiritual realities by discovering that which contains the energy of experience. Like William Blake in Auguries of Innocence, we open our eyes to see a world in a grain of sand, to see heaven in a wildflower, to hold infinity in the palm of our hand, and eternity in an hour.